Hi everyone, this is Christine with Digital Come Up. Today I'm going to talk to you about a plugin that was really helpful for me when I was building my company's website. It's called Page Builder by Site Origin. So if you don't have this plugin already, you can download it by going to your dashboard and scroll down to where it says plugins and click on add new. Then in the search box, you can type in Page Builder by Site Origin. And since I already have this plugin installed on my website, you can um, click, instead of this obviously saying installed, it will say install now. You'll click that, then it'll install it, and then make sure you activate it after it installs. And then once you have your plugin activated, you will be able to use it. And this plugin is really great if you want to storyboard the layout for your site design. Um, so for example, the home page that I built for my company, I built this using Page Builder. I really only used Page Builder for what you see here, these three different sections, the news section, the tag cloud, and the excerpts. Um, but you can see it, there's a clear structure to it. Uh, it's very uniform. It looks clean, it looks neat, um, and Page Builder was a huge help in that design. I also used Page Builder to design my news page. So I have a little photo gallery of our math, Engaging Mathematics partners up here, a little blurb about what our project does. Then if you scroll down, we have a whole collection of all of the news articles that we've posted um, you know throughout the project history. So I can show you kind of the back end of how I made each of these pages. We'll start with the home page. I'm just going to click on edit home page to take us right to the back end. And this is what it looks like. So it's kind of surprising when you first see it, it looks you know very minimal, very clean. Um, but this is what it looks like. So to um, take you, I guess what I'll do would be the easiest way. I'll show you how to um, do this yourself. So I'll open a new tab to pretend we're going to make a new page on this website. And once you download that Page Builder plugin, you'll see that you have an extra tab right here called Page Builder. We'll go back to the editor so you can see that. So visual is what you use just to type and add images and what you see is what you get. Text is what you would use for entering code. But Page Builder is um, the option you choose if you want to do this layout, the storyboarding. So you can start out by adding a row and it gives you the option. It's really, you know, gives you a lot of different customizable choices. So you can have two columns spaced however you like. Um, you don't have to have two. You could just have one column. You could have three, four, you know, whatever you're looking for, you can set up. Um, a lot of websites you see today have those three buttons underneath, usually a big banner image or a slider. Uh, so let's put that in here. And if you wanted to add buttons to each. You know, you could click here and click on add your widget. You get a lot of options. So if we want to add a button, we could put in a circle icon and then customize it. But since um, this is just a general overview, I don't want to get into too much depth right now. Um, but let's say we want to, you know, add that big image above our, above this um, three three columned row. So we're going to go to add a new row and this will just have that one column and so it puts it beneath because I put it in after this row but it's easy to move you just click this arrow drag it up with your mouse and then have it on top and again to add a widget here you'll just click on it so it highlights the box click add widget and you could try to find um, 
a widget that has an image or a gallery. You can put in a whole slideshow if you like. Um, there should also be a slider option. So you can really you can really customize this however you like. There's a visual editor. So if you just want to put in something that you totally have complete control over, you can click on that. Um, but this is, I encourage you to play around with this because there's a lot of great customizable options. As you can see, you can really make the site look pretty sharp. And um, your widgets are also organized by how you've downloaded them. So if you downloaded a separate bundle of widgets, if there's a bunch of widgets that come with your theme and you know you want to use those, you can search by that. So that's kind of how you do this. It's, it is pretty simple. You can also change the layout right here by moving this around. And you can edit. You can get back to that edit page by clicking on that. And you could, uh, oops, duplicate the row if you want to keep the same layout, keep it consistent throughout. So this is how you do this. Um, it's pretty simple. It might take a little practice, but you know, in time, you could create a news page that looks like this, a home page that looks like, well, that looked like. A <laughs> That looked like this here. And to, to show you the back end of the news page, you can see that I chose to put two galleries on the left and the right of my top row. In the middle, I just chose a visual editor to enter the text. And down here, I chose a visual editor that would import all of my news articles. And we can get into more detail on how to do these individual things in a future post. And also to show you the back end of the home page, just to give you a sense of what your options are. Here I chose a post loop, so that shows that carousel of my news articles with the image and the title that people can scroll through. The tag cloud, that has all of my tags there, so if people are at the home page and they want to know more about calculus, for example, or more about sustainability, they can click right on that link. This mini loops excerpts gives a little more detail on my news posts. So it has the title and photo, but it also provides some of the introductory text. So people maybe will get drawn in more as they read. And the visual editor down here has all of our sponsor logos and our funders. And just a disclaimer that, you know, our what's on our website doesn't necessarily reflect the views of our funders. So that is just a brief overview of the page builder plugin. Um, I definitely recommend downloading it as a great way to help organize your site um, in a very structured, clean way. So thank you so much for watching, and please comment if you have any questions.